Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippio and welcome you back to a brand new episode of the Archer playthrough. Um, yeah, today should be Friday, I think. I got a little bit sidetracked at the very beginning of the episode, but uh, yeah. We got one more episode coming out on Sunday and then Monday it'll start fresh again with some more Archer playthrough. I think on Monday I'm going to try to start getting some new stuff going, so we're going to try to start... Uh, um, in a new area, a higher level area, and maybe we'll try and start getting some new weapons or something in between. That way it's a little bit fresher for the week, and it's not the same thing carrying on into the next week. So, we got a couple of things to talk about today, uh, but first, I should mention what we're going to be doing on the Archer playthrough. Ooh, well, you guys mo might notice my, like, my camera is a little bit, like, Oh, ooh, about to sneeze. Oh, man, this is not a very good start to an episode. I'm all sidetracked and I'm sneezing. Um, my mouse might be a little bit, like, all over the place and a little bit foreign, I guess, because the mouse that I had been using for this PC is starting to malfunction a little bit. It's a really old mouse. It's just an old-school mouse. It's not a gaming mouse or anything. Um, and I noticed today when I was trying to edit a video that it was really screwing up. It was double clicking randomly and it's also scrolling in and out like zooming on its own so I'm not really sure why it's doing that but I had to move over to my Logitech mouse, my USB mouse um, or not my USB, my wireless mouse um, just because you know I couldn't use that anymore for editing and it was getting a little bit uh, messed up in gaming I was like scrolling through my stuff randomly like I just did right there and I couldn't really stop it so I was actually in Skywars this morning trying to mess around with some stuff uh, getting used to using this mouse again because um, I can't use it in the same spot I used to use it on this desk the old mouse uh, because it was I don't think it was a laser mouse I think it was a red light mouse um, and you could use it on polished furniture but now this Logitech you can't use on reflective surfaces so I got it on the table next to me but I'm in a weird position kind of and it's a little bit awkward to use and I'm getting used to it again uh, so um, it's gonna take a little bit before I can get used to it again but I did mess around in some Skywars a little bit and uh, it's not bad I think I can probably get it to work and I can get used to it again I think I'll be okay with it uh, I actually like this mouse a couple of reasons because there's um, the scroll wheel in the center is really sensitive so like or not I mean not as sensitive that's what I meant to say so I can come on I can scroll through my inventory a little bit smoother and not really have to worry about that there's a lot of lag on Windcraft today I have no idea why um, past week in general I guess has been super laggy for me I haven't been able to do too much been doing my archer playthrough and that's about it I was looking for some new grinding spots the other day but I kept getting wow yeah see this is what I'm getting constantly all day is just getting kicked from every every uh, windcraft server that I'm on every time I sell anything every time I start a quest or anything like that so it's really getting irritating actually uh, and I've been hearing a couple of people also have the same issue so I know it's not just my problem, so that kind of sucks. I wish they could uh, figure out a solution for this. It's been going on for a little while now. I think it's time we get a, a lag fix. Uh, but yeah, we got to sell all this stuff because we got too much stuff in our inventory. And then we're going to go back over to where we were grinding yesterday. Or not yesterday, on Tuesday. No, Wednesday. Wednesday. I can't think anymore, man. I've been so I've been getting so little sleep trying to get out these Halloween videos and stuff like that. I'm gonna mention that in a, in a little bit too because something really, really, really funny is happening because of that. Um, yeah, but yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit. We're gonna go back over there, and there's some other mobs closer to the Tower of Ascension that we're gonna mess with and see how much XP they give and stuff like that. In this episode, we're gonna talk. A little bit about some podcast type ideas and some more creepy pasta type ideas and things like that, um, and a couple other things that we have to talk about. But yeah, lately, you know, I've been really getting, I really, really get into the Halloween mood. Like I listen to Halloween music on my free time, and uh, I listen to like H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, like um, audio books and stuff. He's a really good horror writer from the 
I'm trying to think what years. Like the 30s through the 50s, I think, probably. I'm not actually sure. I don't know much about him in general, but I do listen to a lot of his uh, audiobooks, and he's a really, really good suspense and horror writer. Like, I'll listen to his books and stuff like that, and I'll get, like, the chills while I'm playing Minecraft and stuff like that, and I really like that, because not many horror movies can do that for me these days. I've been watching too many horror movies, and I don't get the same reaction I used to, which kind of sucks, but uh, I guess that's what happens when you build a tolerance for anything, right? But, uh, yeah, his books still give me that, like, chill, the detail that he puts into it and the suspense and the way he writes. It's really awesome. I'd recommend you go check out some of them. There's some uh, free audio books on YouTube that I think it was a radio show at one time, or it might still be a radio show. It was called The Graveyard Shift, and every night uh, they would start reading these, like, spooky stories and stuff like that, and the guy's got a really nice voice, and... Uh, he throws on this filter on his microphone and makes it sound like old style, like 50s radio. And I don't know, I really, really like it. I just sit down and I'll watch like, or I'll listen to like a three hour audiobook and build in Minecraft or Dig or something in, in the Couchcraft server and stuff like that. Lately, I've been trying to um, find new spots and stuff like that, and new videos on Windcraft that I can make. I just, I can't find much, uh, to be completely honest with you. I'm just waiting for Gavel at this point. Um,. But yeah, I've been getting in the Halloween mood, and I've been listening to these, like, spooky stories and audiobooks and, you know, Halloween music, and I've been reading spooky stories and creepypastas on Reddit and on uh, the Creepypasta Wiki and things like that. Um, and I've been having these really, really weird dreams. I don't usually dream. That's the weird thing in the particular is I used to only have maybe a dream every month or so. Um... Other than that, I would just go to bed, I would close my eyes, and when I wake up, you know, it's in, like, it's just, I close my eyes, I open my eyes, and it's eight hours later or whatever. So, I didn't dream. I dream very rarely, but with me listening to all these things and writing my own scary stories and stuff like that, and listening to this Halloween music and uh, all these movies and stuff like that, and just kind of coming up with these ideas, I guess my brain's been, um a little bit more active when it comes to thinking and things along those lines and I'm just really in this creative mood right now and it's giving me these really like strange dreams I had a dream uh, the other day about ghosts and then I had a dream um, last night about some like I don't know really what it was it was just like I, had, I kept having these like weird like visions of like crazy like old people popping into my mind so I think it's just my brain not used to me being this creative normally. Mo normally I just chill. Oh yay! Normally I just kind of chill back and hang out, but right now I'm creating so many different things. I'm really enjoying it, uh, and I think that's what's going on. My brain's not really sure how to react, and so it's kind of freaking out and creating its own little brain things and stuff like that. Isn't that crazy how the brain works? You can subconsciously create without even knowing it and keep on creating even through your sleep without even knowing it it's pretty awesome I love that but yeah I really like that that I've been having these weird dreams and stuff I might start trying to write some of these things down and keep them uh, around for just in case they're useful for anything future but the I guess main topic that we have to talk about today is I uploaded a creepypasta today uh, I, re I read the rake um, you guys already, well, if you haven't already watched it, you should probably go watch it first. That way you know what I'm talking about. It's basically like this monster that people were having, I don't know, visions or just experiences of or whatever, uh, coming into their bed at, bedroom at night and sitting at the end of their bed and then even talking to them and stuff like that. And It was really creepy. I really liked it and threw on a little bit of a southern voice at one point, and I think I might do that again. Um... And I just recorded one a little while ago for tomorrow on Halloween, which I'm going to be completely honest with you, <laughs> creeped me out even reading it myself, and I had the lights on and everything, so yeah, I really enjoyed that though, it was a lot of fun doing that, and this is where I ask you now, even after Halloween, do you guys want me to keep reading creepy pastas? and if you do, uh, what kind of format would you like, would you like me just to chill out in Minecraft and... Um, sit around a fire or something and read these stories or 
would you rather me just put an image on the screen and um, read the stories or how would you want me to do that I guess if you're interested in seeing more of them and then I guess the other option is how often because my imagine was that um, if you guys did like them that I would probably do them once a week on Friday um, and I think that's probably what I'll do if you guys decide that you do want to see more I would just upload them every Friday night it would be the Friday night frights on my channel and I would do creepypastas the other thing is, um, this is the first time I've actually been able to see the entire tower because I always got, I always got my render distance so low. That's really cool. I got a comment on one of my spooky videos where I was talking about, uh, I think it was, I can't remember which one I was talking about at the time, but basically it was, I'm going back. It was basically a request for me to make them longer. Um, I'm going to die. Why is my health taking so... Wow. My hunger is taking so long to regen. Uh, it could be because of the lag. Because let me see what I got this set to right now. 16. Uh, I guess it's not a whole lot. I'm, I guess I'm used to using my mage is the problem here. Um, asked if I can make the videos longer because they like listening to them while they play Minecraft. Now I've heard this before and actually I have um, a couple of people that I talk to on Skype that have said that they like to listen to my videos while they build or while they explore or while they're caving and stuff like that and I absolutely love that idea. Um, you know because for instance if there was a person who would get bored if they weren't doing something on their own um, I would rather them go and do caving and stuff like that while they're listening to my videos as opposed to just turning my videos off. And I myself, I know I do the same thing. I know there's a couple of YouTubers that I absolutely love. It's just I get bored just watching them play Minecraft or something. Uh, you know, when you get a 30-minute episode, it's a little hard to just stick around and watch the entire time without doing anything yourself. So I know I put on people like Good or B00 or uh, Lanky White Guy and play Minecraft or Unturned or something along those lines. So, yeah, I'm completely fine with you guys doing that as well. Uh, I like that idea. Hello. Hi. How are you, good sir? Um, the idea I come up with now. You guys want longer videos so you can listen to. How would you guys feel about a podcast idea? Now, I've had an idea for a... Oh! Oh! That's awesome. Um, how random is that? That he just... We were just in the same spot at the same time. That's kind of cool. It's pretty early in the morning, my time. So I'm wondering where that guy must live. He must live... Um... He must... That guy must live, like, somewhere maybe EU or something because... It is 6 in the morning, my time. Um, but yeah, me and Fat Man had that idea a long time ago, and we even had an idea to upload some of our Let's Builds that we had made, and we were considering doing that, but we didn't end up doing it at the time because my computer wasn't good enough to render out like an hour and a half, two hours of, of audio. So uh, we ended up not doing it, but uh, just recently... Me and Jess were talking again about a podcast idea, and it got me interested in the podcast again. Uh, and then also the guys on Couchcraft were really interested in doing podcast-type deals. So, basically, I guess this is your decision here. If you guys want, like, a weekly podcast from me where I would just gather up everything that cool that happened over the week... Um, and depending on when it happened, if I did it on Fridays, then I could tell my creepypastas in the podcast as well. Um, but if it was on Thursday or something, maybe I could do throwback Thursday stories. If it was, I don't know, maybe just different days of the week would be different things or something. But um, I guess my idea would basically be where I would just have an image on the screen and I would just talk for... Um, you know, roughly hour and a half, maybe two hours at most, maybe an hour at the shortest, with whoever I had on at the time. I would probably try and get different people every week, so uh, I could get, 
you know, I know Fat Man would definitely be interested in doing that again because he was pretty pumped up for the idea back when we when we originally wanted to start it. Uh, I know Jess would be interested. In, maybe I could get some of the Couchcraft guys on one week or something. Maybe I could get some other people. I am in contact with a couple other YouTubers, so there's a possibility I could have different guests on, and we could basically just talk about whatever it would be. Uh, you guys could come up with ideas for suggest or come up with suggestions for ideas on what type of stuff you wanted to hear about, whether it's stories or the creepypastas ideas, or if you wanted me to read something or some book or something, I don't know. Um, then you guys could also just come up with like talking points, I suppose. If there's anything interesting happening that you want us to talk about, we could do that. And I don't know if I would have like. See, because I know I could probably get Batman on every week. So I'm wondering if he would be interested in being like one of the hosts as well. Uh, and then we could have new people on every other week or every week or something. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. And for the meantime, it would only be once a week. Like I said, an hour to an hour and a half, maybe even two hours at the most. If it was something big that we had to talk about. Um, and then I guess just cycle different people in. And then if I could figure out in advance you know who was going to be on then I could get you guys to have some questions for me to ask and then you guys could also post your own questions for me or for uh, um, you know Fat Man or maybe even Jess or something so yeah I guess that's basically my idea let me know what you guys are thinking on that let me know what you guys are thinking on the creepy pastas. I hope you guys are enjoying that because I don't know I really really enjoyed making that one so I wouldn't mind making some more of those at all that would be pretty awesome actually um, I think that's actually going to do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Hippie, and I'll see you guys next time.